Hey everybody, uh, thought I'd do a short video this morning. Uh, weather's not too great outside, we've got a bit of hail storm at the minute and rain and wind and God knows what else and I'm dying to get out but unfortunately the weather's not playing ball at the moment. Uh, so I thought I would uh, do just a little demonstration on the off the ground cast. Uh, you can do this indoors, you don't need to go outside, you can practice indoors. It's all about getting the arm position right and the head right and setting your feet and also putting the, red in, the lead in the right position. So I use a, a broom, a bit of an old broom to practice. Uh, and basically, it's quite simple. Uh, to cast off the ground. Once you can master off the ground then you can develop then into the uh, pendulum. Uh, so basically, I've got my broom. I'm out at the seaside and I've got the sea in front of me there. And I just get my rod butt. And I usually use a drop about seven to eight foot. And I'll place the lead behind me. There's the sea. I would place the lead behind me level with the sea there. So I'm facing this way, there's a tide in front of me, I've got the lead behind me, there, level with the sea. I drop my rod tip down to the floor, yeah? I hold the rod as if I'm going to throw a spear, a javelin. I grab the butt with my left hand, look up, not down, look up, bend the head back and look up and basically what you're going to do is you're going to pull the rod round to the level to where your eyes are looking at that point there as my left hand it's my eye line is when I pull down as hard as I can and punch with the right so it's lead behind you, level with the sea Grab with your right hand as if you're going to throw a javelin. I'm going to throw a javelin. I put my weight onto my right leg. I grab with my left, looking up at all the time. Pull round, round, round. And at that point there, as it's hit my eye line, I pull round and down with my left. And I punch with my right. So it's from there. Weight onto your right leg, transfer it over to your left. Pull, pull, pull. Pull at that stage there. Pull down as hard as you can and punch with your right. All your power comes from your left hand. Not your right, your left. What a lot of people tend to do is they set themselves up and they bend this arm, this right arm there. Well, there's no way you're going to throw a javelin with the right arm. You've no... You've no power in the rod, you've no compression. And you'll grab it with your left. And they'll go. And basically all they're doing is just casting over the top. It needs to be straight, as if you're throwing a javelin. Transfer all your weight onto your right leg. Look up. Grab the butt of your le rod with your left hand. Transfer your weight over, pulling at the same time. Is my left it's there that's when I really pull down as hard as I can and punch all the power comes from your left hand not your right and you've to hit it that last minute so it's from there off the ground lead behind your level with the sea that's in front of you look up must look up I get a lot of the lads I'll say some look up they'll keep the head straight and they look up with their eyes or they look down the field to see where the lead is. Keep the head back, look up, because at that time you can follow your lead, you'll see your lead actually take off. So it's look up, weight on your right, rod tip down, lead behind you, as if I'm going to throw a javelin, grab with my left, pull, 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 transfer your weight over at the same time, pull down with that left, and punch with that right. And you'll, nine times out of ten, you, you'll see your lead. 
you'll see your lead go off. Now the pendulum is uh, basically all you're doing is just picking up the lead off the ground but this time you're going to swing it. Now I always use an ice swing for fishing, never use a low swing, I mean there's that many different styles of uh, pendulum casting now it's unreal. Uh, a tournament cast is completely different to a fishing cast, completely different. Uh, basically all you're doing is, as you're off the ground there, you'll pick the lead up and you'll have the lead dangling in front of you. Now if you're casting reel up, you need the lead to come just over the top of your hand. If you're casting reel down, then you have the lead over the top of your hand. So basically, as from there, off the ground, you're picking the lead up. So you've got the lead in front of you. So you push out with the rod. As the lead's caught its peak at the tip of the rod, you dip it and bring the rod back. And as you're bringing the rod back to there, push that left arm out in front of you. So it's swing it out, dip the tip, pull it back, push out with that left arm in front of you. You turn, look up, well where am I? The same as I was before off the ground and it's exactly the same. Pull that left round to that eye line, the minute it's your eye line, pull it down as hard as you can and punch. It's that last snap at the minute, at the, the last bit at the end, pull and punch. So you pick your lead up, so you've got your lead in front of you, you push out, keep this right arm straight, push out, dip the tip, bring the rod back, push out there in front of you with your left, turn, look up, pull and punch. Now I see a, a few people that uh, they don't, they're not using the left arm, they tend to use the right arm to put all the power in, uh, which is not true. You've got to use that left arm to put the power in. That's where all your power comes from is your left hand, your left arm. A lot of people say to me, you can't cast with a straight right arm. My right arm isn't straight. It is at the beginning of the cast, but at the end of the cast, it's also straight. In between, the cast, it bends. No one can cast with a straight arm, it'll just bring you over the top, you'd end up ripping your shoulders out. So, you pick the lead up, you swing it out, you dip the tip, you push out to there. As I turn to pull and punch, is my right arm bent? Yes it is, it's ready for that punch. There's my arm there, that's straight, that's where it is there. See? Grab the butt, from there, pull, punch, and lock up. A lot of people, they, they swing it out and they bend this arm to bring it back. Well, you've no compression in your rod because by the time you've turned to hit it, all you're using is this arm, you're doing nothing, you can't do anything with that left. You can only pull that left from there, like that. They'll go out, they'll bend it back, there. And as you turn, where's my left arm is down here. So basically, you're gonna go over the top. So I've got to stay nice and straight. Where you was before off the ground, you're picking the lead up. You'll swing the lead out, dip the tip, pull the rod back and push that left arm out in front of you, there, unlock it, there. As you turn, look up to there, pull that left round to the eye line, there, pull, punch. Uh, I hope it helps. 
some of these beginners that are uh, getting out there and everything, uh, just starting up fishing. Like I say, it's miserable today. It can't be out with the weather. But uh, hopefully in the summertime I'll do a proper video with the lead and the uh, rod and everything else. But you can practice indoors once you've got your basics right. It's all about keeping the arms in the right position and using your, your left more than your right for the pull and the punch. All your power comes from your left arm and also your head position. Your arms will automatically follow. If you, you're looking up, your arms will automatically follow that eye line. And I always, just, just as I've got my left level with my eye line there, is when I pull round, you pull it round and punch, like so. The lead should come from the tip, down, round, and then off. Like you're going to cut the trees off, the top of the trees off with a lead. It should come right round like a nice arc and off. Anyway, I hope, it, uh, hope it's going to help a few people. I'm a bit out of breath today. But uh, I will hopefully be, be being on soon, uh, be back on soon doing a live stream. Uh, get this bad weather out of the road. I say in the summertime I'm going to try and do... Uh, do a, a live video on uh, casting. I just want to thank everybody for, you know, whoever watches it. I hope it does help people out and I'll speak to everybody again soon. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.